In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to print out these anchor charts really nice and big, um, but also clear and on paper that's really easy to write on. So the first thing that you want to do is find a place that prints anything for drafting or engineering prints, anything like that, um, because you want this to only be two to three dollars, maybe even less if it's a, a local place. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it at Staples because a lot of people have Staples near them and it's going to be a similar process for any printing company if you're uploading it online. So first things first, you want to make sure that you look for the anchor chart file. This is a one page PDF. You do not want to print from the teacher guide and student pages because this file is actually eight and a half by 11 so it'll show up as an error because it'll be really blurry. So this one right here is actually um, a very large file, so it's able to be printed pretty large. So I'll show you sizing as far as that goes. So if you're ordering on Staples, you want to search for Staples copy and print drafting um, or engineering prints. And basically you're printing the same as if you're printing in like a blueprint. So the paper will be kind of thin, but it'll be nice and thick um, black ink. So it'll look really nice. So you can print an 18 by 24, which is a pretty nice size anchor chart. If you have a like a little small area that you're putting your anchor charts in, this is a good choice. Um, 24 by 36 is, is, is larger. It's more of a traditional anchor chart size. So that's what I'm gonna use. Don't do 36 by 48 because it will be blurry. 24 by 36 is actually the optimum size. So you wanna choose black and white blueprints. And you wanna choose that PDF file. Oops, this one right here. And of course this file will be different depending on which resource you're using. Um, this one's just an example. Okay, so this threw me off the first time. Um, you wanna make sure that the orientation is set to portrait. And the reason why it's like this is because this is 18 by 24. So if you choose, um, if you choose the 24 by 36 size, then it will fit perfectly. Okay, and if this is the size you want, you can just click add to cart super easy. However, if you want it a little bit smaller, or you want to save a little money, you're using like a smaller anchor chart area, um, what you can do is um, you can fit it to page right here. So fit content to paper. Okay, and that's it. So that would be the 18 by 24 size. Um, so either way, it's going to look great and nice. It's going to look nice and crisp um, when you get it. And it's super exciting. So all you have to do is add it to cart, pay for it, pick it up, and you're good to go. Um, if you have any issues, my email is in the resource, and I'm always happy to help to the best of my ability. Um, but I always say try to do your best to maybe contact somebody who prints these drafting prints uh, to get their expertise first. All right, I hope you enjoy.